today's video, we're going to be taking apart a 2015 27-inch Apple iMac to replace the hard drive with a solid state drive. Doing this will make your iMac a lot faster, especially if you have the model with a 5400 RPM conventional hard drive. However, because of the iMac's design, it might seem difficult at first to get to this hard drive. Using this simple opening tool and a heat gun, we can easily open up the iMac and replace the hard drive. We're going to start by running our heat gun around the edges of the iMac just to soften up the adhesive. Then we can use our opening tool to slide in between the frame and the glass on the iMac to cut through the adhesive. Now this might take a few minutes, so be patient and just keep running the heat gun around the edges of the iMac while using the opening tool to keep loosening that adhesive up. Eventually, it'll start coming loose, and you can begin slowly lifting the glass display away from the frame. Once that's done, you'll have a look inside and see the power cable and display cable for the screen. Just go ahead and unplug those from the logic board so you can take the screen out all the way. Once that's done, we can go ahead and lift the display out and set that somewhere safe. Go ahead and unscrew the speaker and the hard drive. You have to unscrew the speaker to unscrew the hard drive and get that out. Once that's done, we can go ahead and take our solid state drive and screw that in. Ideally, you should have a bracket that converts the 2.5 inch to a 3.5 inch, but in my case, I just had one screw, which seems to hold it pretty good. So that's what we're gonna do. Just one screw and that'll stay nice and tight. Make sure to clean up the adhesive along the outer perimeters of the IMAX frame, as well as around the display so we can put some fresh adhesive on it. Now, I like to put the screen back on and install my operating system before putting new adhesive on it. So that's what we're gonna do next. Now, I'm not going to go over that process in this video, but pretty much you want to have a boot installer of your uh, Apple operating system. Boot from that, install the operating system, and uh, as long as everything checks out and we don't have to open it again, you'll be good. So we can go ahead and start putting the new adhesive along the frame of the iMac. Now this is pretty easy because they're all numbered, so you just line them up with the edges. Once you have all of those on, nice and secure and straight, then you can go ahead and uh, take your, your screen and, uh, and we'll just, uh, right, 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 almost. I like to put a little super glue here and there just to make sure it's, it's super sturdy. Not a lot though. Then we can go ahead and slide the display right back on there. Make sure it's perfectly straight because you only got one shot at this. Go ahead and plug the display back in and then close it up nice and secure and we'll see if it boots or see how fast it boots. You want to make sure it boots before committing this far at least. With a new solid state drive, it'll be a lot faster. 10 seconds tops. Anyway, that's it for upgrading our iMac hard drive to a solid state drive. This will make your iMac a lot faster, as you can see. One tiny piece of advice, one thing that I did not do that you should do if you have a little bit more time is to use a 2.5 inch um, hard drive bracket to more securely hold your SSD as opposed to just using one screw like I did. Even though one screw will work, it's a lot better to have a bracket. Um, but other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to drop a like, drop a comment if you have any questions, and subscribe for more awesome videos like this.